Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk about Agile Testing Pyramid. So let's understand what is Agile Test Pyramid. Before moving further, if you are visiting Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, please subscribe to this channel so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox so that you can enhance your testing skills. So let's move on to understand what is all about Agile Test Pyramid. So Agile Testing Pyramid, if you can see the, the tradition, if you can see here our traditional testing, where AV manual testing is a, is a focus. If you are seeing, in the traditional testing is nothing but a waterfall model, where unit testing will be done very minimally, then followed by integration test, which is little higher than unit test, then entire testing effort is been adopted in the end-to-end -end testing. This is where we will have more manual execution is to happen, which is traditional testing, which is a waterfall model. Now, agile testing is a continuous driven and continuous deployment method where we are doing more testing in the beginning of the release itself, which is nothing but we are shifting the testing to the left side, which is from the development perspective means earlier all the testing used to happen at the end now all the all almost all testing will be used will be done at the unit test level itself which is nothing but shifting the testing to the left that is where all the testing process been shifted to left where developer is going to do more unit tests is going to implement and develop more unit test cases as and when he adds up a new code, these unit tests will be running and ensuring that whatever he has written earlier, nothing it breaks. That guarantees that whatever he is implementing, adapting and updating, then he is ensuring that nothing is breaking from these unit tests. That is where, if you can see here, the bottom is very heavy. That is, unit testing is very heavy. So next is integration testing which is lesser than the unit test so that means let's say this is 100 percent unit test cases are covering 100 percent that means we'll have around 50 to 60 test cases so that is the overall coverage will be there in the integration then the last testing is end-to-end -end testing which is where with a minimal regression we'll be releasing the product to the client that means with the new strategy, with the new approach, testing approach in Agile, everything we are moving towards left. That's where the much effort which is coming from the development development team itself now. Then completely depending on testing team in the last last phase. Agile model, because we have a sprint model, every sprint we will have certain user story to be implemented. When the user story is implemented, more unit tests would be written for those uh, user stories then followed by integration test cases will be executed by our tester and end-to-end -end testing also will be executed so that is the overall goal of agile testing pyramid that's how the agile testing pyramid looks the dev apps journey has been adopted across all the projects so earlier the more focus towards automation is unit test we used to automate or some portion of integration test we used to automate or some portion of end-to-end -end tests were automated. But in DevOps, the overall journey is totally different. You, you talk about unit testing, you talk about acceptance testing, integration testing, workflow test, these are nothing but uh, functional flow test, end-to-end -end and GI test. These are all brings more automation in this, all these areas. But still, unit testing is given little higher priority, and the similar way, acceptance testing is also will be given highest priority. We are going to clear the product to the client only acceptance criteria being passed. Then only we deliver the product to the client. In the same fashion, the testers would be performed the integration test, then the, all the feature flow test, end to end, and finally, very minimal uh, testing effort is going on the. GUI perspective. That means all the automation we are trying to bring from the API level. If you are seeing all these are morely into 
API or interface level testing that would help to bring high quality without touching UI. That that if you are seeing in the previous models, we are all focusing on the UI automation. Now with the new strategy, the GUI automation we are trying to make very minimal and we are trying to validate the functionality from the API level at the interface level. I hope you understood the overall concepts of test pyramid from traditional testing to agile testing, from agile testing to DevOps testing. This is the overall uh, journey we are trying to make in uh, testing. This is all about testing pyramid. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you are first time visiting the Testing Shala YouTube channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox so that you can enhance your skills by watching these videos. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.